Hey, what's up? Back again. First base note hit me in the chest, and I was just like, there's no way that's too late. MB Enclosures it has his own YouTube channel, and this guy is an animal when it comes to designing boxes. And hey, welcome to the town. It's your boy MB. Sometimes y'all say, MB, man, can I, if, do we, you don't ever review the budget bankers. Well, I tell you here, it costs what it costs. But sometimes y'all all right. Sometimes what you're paying for, he ain't actually getting it. You're getting robbed severely. And that's why when certain woofers get in my possession and I look and review it, I'm not Johnny Come Lucky. It was Johnny Come Lately, y'all. I don't like it with some woofer. That's just a fact. I'm going to tell you the truth, what it is and what it ain't. I really wanted to point out the difference between these two. One is $100. And one is three fifty. Two and a half times more. Two hundred and fifty dollars more for this driver. What are we getting? Mm, let's look at it. Here you have a taller high roll surround. Tall and narrow. Here you have a fat I guess bubbly surround, I guess you would call it. You see that? Yeah. Same cutout. Oh yeah, we we we're gonna get to this. Basket design, pretty similar. Uh, two, four, what, ten, ten spoke design. Here you have a dual linear, and we have a we have a dual lean, dual progressive row spot here. But what's really interesting is this. I want these boys here. You take your pants off, boy. Mm. Get on my wife said, get undressed, take them off. And dual slug motor. Nice size to an MB for hundred dollars. I concur. I do concur with that. Mm -hmm. Able to dispel heat a little bit better. Let's look on the back side. Pole vent and vents around the pole. Ah, $109. I must say MBX did very good for this budget perform. I think it's rated at 600 watts. Now let's go over here to this joker right here. I believe he has it rated at 750 to 1,000 on this, this hydrogen, uh, hydrogen eight. Nice little catchy name and everything. Take them pans off, boy. No, don't, you ain't gotta blow it up on your phone. I'm gonna I'm get it closer to you. What do you mean? What, what happened? I don't know, you tell me what happened. Y'all see what happened. When you put these pans on, they look like they got the same motor structure. They look equal. And I already told you the magnetic boot, if you're going to do a traditional mounting, you might as well cut that magnetic boot off anyway. It's, rubber is a poor dissipator of heat and a poor insulator as well. It's going to get hot on the inside and the outside. And it's going to keep that heat on the magnet. It's going to degrade performance. Just take it off and increase your surface area to dispel the heat. But side by side, you'll possibly think, man, this is beefier. No, it's not. It's got this real thick magnetic boot on it with a catchy little logo on it, too. Yeah, real, real thick. I wish I could measure the thickness for you. Uh, real big, nice catchy. I can measure the thickness for you. Yeah, I have my trusty Kepler right here. So that's the, how thick this magnetic boot is and what it's hiding. It is four millimeters thick, 4.7. The ZVX magnetic motor boot is three millimeters thick at this point. Now, these big edges over here as well, they actually, I don't know if y'all can see that, that's going to account for some of the thickness as well. This magnetic boot is far bigger to hide the fact that you only got three very small. The magnetic structure on this woofer doesn't commensurate with the power handling building they say it can handle. It also only has one pole vent, no vents around the former for $250. It also doesn't have a magnetic, uh, uh, what do you call it, mount gasket. It has it here. I guess if you're going to inverse mount it. I don't understand why they have it there 
for this price. Now look at the motor structures. Let's zero this out. See how much we're losing. And what we're gaining here, the total magnetic structure of this wolf is 73 meters, 73 millimeters, with the slugs themselves coming in at 50. 50 meters. Oh man, I moved my finger. Mm. The slugs, them, oh, fit my bad, 51. Oh, let me go this way. 51. 51. So 73 and 51. 500 watts RMS. I think it's 500. Yeah, 500 watts RMS. 5 or 600 watts RMS. Whereas here, the total magnetic structure is 68 millimeters. And the slugs themselves are 45. Six more millimeters of magnetic magnet. Uh, look like to have the same. Let's look at this gap, this gap height. Mm, let's see how would we do that. So if it's 45, let's see, let's see what we got here. Let's look at the gap here. Okay, so we at the total is mm, it zero does out. Zero. Okay, boom. We have 68 minus uh, 68 minus, uh, well, I can't measure. I, I've never, y'all can see that for yourselves. <laughs> I don't want to get exact. I'm messing up right there trying to, I don't want the video to go too long, but you can see how when you take the pants off, you just got robbed for $250. Which one you think going to play loud or long? This ain't, this is ferrite motor. This ain't Neo. This ain't Neo. This is ferrite. So in this case, sometimes you are paying more and getting absolutely nothing. <laughs> and getting absolutely less. Boys, when you go pull my boys in, come on over here, boy. Let them know what time it is. When you put my boys in, it's fat and that fiction, baby. It's the truth. Get at me, boy. You need one of these boys in your life. You need one of these boys in your life. Tell you the truth, man. The number is 4469 As always, please listen responsibly. And uh, stop keep asking me to look at this doo-doo. Peace.